आथा योगा अनुशासनम नमस्ते वेलकम टू अनरावल द थ्रेड a podcast for people who want to apply the yoga sutras to yoga practice and to life today available online at simple-yoga.org where you can also find articles videos and guided meditations to enrich your practice i am ruben vasquez your companion on this journey of exploration i am grateful for your comments and questions it really makes my day to know that unravel the thread is making a difference in your practice and in your life this podcast presents excerpts from the book unravel the thread the complete guide for living the yoga sutras today if you love the podcast and want to support my work as an independent content creator on the simple-yoga.org website you can easily donate to keep the podcast going On today's episode we continue our exploration of chapter 4 of the Yoga Sutra with sutra number 4 that says created minds result from sense of self asmita one fascinating aspect of the Yoga Sutra is that its terseness invites many different interpretations one approach is to choose one perspective according to one tradition or belief and to interpret the sutra according to that tradition another approach is to consider that several interpretations may be correct at different times and for different levels of practice this second approach was offered in the previous chapter and in this whole book to provide an accessible way to practice for some commentators This aphorism states that the practitioner creates other body minds as vehicles of his consciousness that can all be active simultaneously without generating new impressions. The practitioner creates other body minds to speed up burning his past impressions, samskaras and karma. A slightly different perspective suggests that the practitioner creates many body minds out of compassion to enhance the quality of life for all beings. Since the practitioner's being is free from thoughts, the actions accomplished through these bodies do not generate impressions causing future karma. These two complementary interpretations continue the thread of supernatural powers in chapter 3. framed within the ideas in the past three aphorisms that coming into being results from removing the obstacles to the flow of natural forces one further possible way of understanding this sutra is that the natural flow of life manifests as the sense of self asmita this sense of self is the very subtle sense of being it is this sense of self that is at the core of all your experiences in fact it is this asmita that gives you the sense that you are a being that you exist remember that at the very beginning of chapter 2 of the yoga sutra the list of the five afflictions included not knowing your true nature avidya as the major obstacle enabling the other obstacles to emerge sequentially in sutras 23 to 29 the second obstacle to appear is the sense of self asmita in sutra 26 when this very subtle obstacle is active it can be neutral however it can also trigger the emergence of the other three afflictions likes raga in sutra 27 dislikes dwesha in sutra 28 and sense of self importance also known as fear of dying apini vesha in sutra 29 according to sutra 44 this natural outcropping of nature your sense of self is the root of all your identifications in other words it is your basic sense of self that creates all the typical conflicting views of who you think you are who you think you should be and who you think others expect you to be in the context of accomplishments 
yogis at this level of mastery can connect to their sense of self and deactivate its tendencies towards identification to prevent generating other ways of being, citta. One possible way of contemplating the message in this sutra is to experience how your sense of self is the point where nature and consciousness meet. Like any other point of interaction between two different principles, asmita is the field where friction between these two different principles will manifest. It may also be useful to remember that this sense of being, asmita, was one of the degrees of meditation mentioned in Sutra 117. If you remember the idea that yoga is a process of refining your presence, you can approach this contemplation of your sense of being by considering the following two questions. What are the different labels influencing who you think you are and your actions? When you quiet down the level of internal activity and identification through meditation, what do you experience? As usual, one more way of exploring the meaning of this sutra is by chanting it. You can choose to chant it in its traditional form with some of the words coming together. Nirmana Chittanya Smita Matrat Another option is to chant each word in the sutra individually. Nirmana Chitta Anyasmita Matrat 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 Thank you very much for listening. I hope you can join me for the next episode when we will continue our exploration with Sutra 5 in Chapter 4. If Unravel the Thread is part of your day and you feel generous, I would appreciate it if you could support my work with a donation at simple-yoga.org. Thank you. Remember that you can have your own copy of Unravel the Thread. Until next time. Namaste.